This is Kevin Harlan along with Greg Anthony and Brett Beard. David Aldridge will be reporting from the sideline to the Warriors in San Francisco. And that was a real body blow for them. They got taken apart both offensively and defensively. Here we go. Yeah, tough game on the road. The, the guys you're defending, obviously comfortable shooting in their own building. You've got to find a way to break their rhythm. Yeah, they couldn't do it in that one. Always a step slow in closing out the shooters and maybe even recognition of who was on the floor. Just not enough energy, and that's a tough way to win on the road. Let's check out Pittsburgh's starting lineup. We've got Jakob Pertl. McCaw is out there with T.J. McConnell. And it's Melly in at the four spot. Now here's Dudley on the wing. Jackson missed inside. Here's McCall. Pass to Dodson. Here's McCall. Back to Dodson. Pittsburgh working the ball around. Shot clock at six. McConnell passes to Dodson. From deep three-point range, rebounded by Dudley. The Knights on offense. Brown outside. Milton passes to Brown. Lays it up and banks it in. And we're about a minute and a half into the first quarter. Pass to McCaw. Here's Dotson. And so it looks like Pittsburgh will retain possession here. McConnell passes to Purtle. Back to McConnell. Here's Dotson. Six to shoot. Let's go. And he nails the jumper. And we always talk about making your teammate better. That assist was right on target. Pass to Melton. Now Brown. There's the pass to Melton. Outside Jackson. Kansas City needs to get off a shot. Here's Dudley. It doesn't go for him. So Pittsburgh will take it the other way. Dotson kicks to McCaw. Passes it to Dotson. Now here is Pirtle. And here's McConnell. Dotson gets the bucket. Dotson's got five points so far. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Here's Melton. Back to Brown. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. Yeah, how about that one? Able to maintain control and finish the play. Kansas City shooting their first free throw of the game. Now McConnell. Pass to Dodson. Here's McCall. McConnell scanning the floor. Pass to Dodson. Shot clock at five. And the basket is good. He's got seven. Now that's how you draw it up right there. A screen to shed the defense. A quick move to the bucket. And you get the lay-in. Outside Jackson. Melton no good. He creates such a great opportunity right at the rim and he just can't get it to go. Even with the defense not really a factor. McCaw with the bucket. Here's Melton. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring hit from him. Now the pass to Jackson. Here's Melton. From the high post. And it's off the back rim. No good. Oh, that mid-range J usually pretty much on the money. Maybe the timing just a little bit off on that one. 
Stolen by Jackson. 13 feet away. And Kansas City misses again. Pittsburgh leading by four. This offense has really been clicking. And they know it, guys. They're playing right now with the kind of energy that is hard to deal with. Here's Dotson. He's got seven. Five to shoot. For three. Here's Melly. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Really uh, the right play defensively if you can't block, force him to the line. Pittsburgh shooting their first free throws of this game. At the line for two. First one falls for him. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Kansas City trails by six. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Ugly with it. No points in the game yet for him. To end the drought. Back to Brown. That shot misses. So Pittsburgh will take it the other way. Passes to McConnell. Here's Dotson. Bangs home the trifecta. Dotson's got a couple of threes now in the first for the force. Now that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. Yeah, the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. And Kansas City decides to take their first time out here. Giving up a run here, can, can they turn it around? Hard to say right now. At this point, I've seen the coaches run through two or three iterations of defense. Is there a fourth? I'm not sure. Kansas City trails by nine. Brown outside. Pass to Jackson. Here's Silva. Here's Melton. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. It's a halt the run. Pittsburgh pulls it in. Here's Dotson. He's got ten. Pass to Pirtle. Pittsburgh working the ball around. Here's Dotson. Takes the bucket. Now he's got five field goals. Five for eight in the game. This looks like he's got more feel tonight. Like he's really got a good grip on that ball as he's letting it go. And the pass to Melton. Cross contact on the shot. And now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. And despite the size disadvantage, attacking the heart of that defense. Yeah, no stopping him on that play. Sometimes even the taller defenders are helpless to stop him. And so it's McConnell with it. He'll bring it up for Pittsburgh. They're leading by eight. Passes it to Dotson. Here's McCall. Back to Dotson. The lead pass was put in just the right spot. Dotson's got 14 points for the game. When you find yourself up double digits in the first quarter, you know you're doing something right. Well, dominant so far. That's the responsibility of the starters. Now let's see if everybody else who plays in this game makes the same kind of high-level contributions. Good. And McConnell gets the assist. He's got 17. And their offense already in a flow. 
Some stellar shooting to jump out to this lead. Brown the pass to Jackson. Softly drops in the floater. Field. Always fun to look at. Not tremendously efficient, but the floater. Boy, those sure are pretty. Pass to Dotson. Here's McCall. Back to Dotson. And again, it's Pittsburgh with a three. Yeah, they're relying on their three-point shooting and getting pretty good results. Brown outside. Pass to Jackson. Here's Silver. He's still scoreless so far in this one. And the basket is good. Got it to go through on the contact. So a free throw coming up. Great opportunity for a three-point play. For Kansas City, they have gone two for two in the game at the line. And the force making a change here. Nader's checked in. One shot. Pittsburgh leading by 11. The pass to Dotson. Back to McConnell. Here's Nader. He's covered by Brown. Six on the shot clock. Dotson the pass to Mellon. Drops in the layup for two. And the force lead by 13. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. Started. And the Knights call time here. Trying to snap them out of this little slump. Well, they can't find the net right now, and all they need, I think, is just to get one to go, get back on track. Now we get a chance to check out some stats for him. Dudley the pass to Melton. And here's Jackson. He kicks it to Brown. Ice ball movement by Kansas City. Down to five on the shot clock. Jackson misses. Not really his best quarter as far as scoring. Let, let's see if he can eventually get back on track. This quarter belongs to him, and that's how you do it when you're out in front. Don't play it safe. Keep that momentum going. Brown outside. Passes it to Jackson. Pass to Dudley. The kick out to Brown. There's Jackson with the three. Aminu grabs the miss. Well, his shooting this quarter has to be a huge concern, especially when they're behind like this. Can he find a rhythm? One forty-one left to play here in the first, and there's the whistle. Illegal screen. Uh, beyond the leaning, you could see his feet weren't set on that screen. Easy call. Got to hold firm, or you're going to get a call. And the force making a change here. Roby's checked in. Here's Melton. Kicks it to Jackson. Pass to Brown. Let's the three fly. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Brown's got 11 points. Great quarter for him at the offensive end, trying to wheel his team back in the game. Here's Rope. He's covered by Brown. That one falls. Dotson's got 24. And they're passing the ball very crisply here. The pass to Melton. Now here's Brown. No good on the triple. 
Not sure how he finds himself in so much space there. He's kicking himself for whiffing a bit on that one. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. And, and he buried a bunch of shots from the strike in that last game. Two shots. And he makes the first. And the force making a change here. Thomas has checked in. Good on both. 41 seconds left here in the first quarter. Passes it to Melton. Down kicks to Jackson. Pass to Dudley. Here's Melton. And here's Jackson. Drills it from outside. Jackson's got five points so far. Now that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. And the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. Here's Dotson. Fires it up. And it's Pittsburgh, 13 points up at the end of the period. Their strategy has been clear tonight. Work the ball inside, get shots in the paint, and now they are scoring with ease. And we'll be back with you shortly. And so far through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in the second. And what stands out to you from the four skies in this one? Well, they've been aggressive from the beginning, particularly on the offensive end. Well, if they wanted to start well, this would be it. They seized momentum right away, and they just didn't let it go in that quarter. Kansas City trails by 13. We've got Brown, and it's Melton in at the shooting guard position. Hurdle against Dudley. Pass to Melton. Lock at six. He can't get it to go. So Pittsburgh will take it the other way. At one point, they led by 16. And for Pittsburgh, we got T.J. McConnell. Jakob Pirtle up there with McCall. And it's Melly in at the fourth. And it's Kansas City's ball. And for the Knights, we've got Brown. And it's Dudley in at the center. Nice ball movement by Kansas City. And there's the pass to Silva. Here's Melton. Pittsburgh pulls it in. Melly's got five rebounds tonight. I hate to say it, but if they're still trailing at the final buzzer, a lot of this is going to be felt by him. His shooting tonight has just been atrocious. Now here's Jackson. Pass to Melton. Brown outside. Pass to Jackson. Up top, Dudley. And now approaching two minutes of action here in the second quarter. And there's two points. Working on the glass, paying off that time. Pass to Dodson. Back to McConnell. Here's McCall. The pass to Dodson. Here's McCall. From past the arc. Offensive rebound. Here's Melton. He kicks to Jackson. Passes to Melton. And here is Brown. The tray. Another three for Kansas City. Nice stroke from long range. And if he keeps getting those opportunities, he better take them. Pass to McCaw. Now, here's McConnell. Guarded closer. Melly passes to McCaw. That shot, no good. So it's the Knights. We'll take it the other way. To the middle. Here's Dudley. Whistle blows. Basket is good. 
So a chance here for a three-point play. No clue how he got that one to fall. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. The free throw drops for Dudley. Quarter number two, around three minutes gone by. And the force call their first time out of the game. And he could tell his guys were dragging a little bit, calling time out to kind of let them catch their breath. Here's Pirtle. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. McCaw, the pass to Dotson. Here's McConnell, guarded by Jackson. Shot clock at six. Pass to Melly. McConnell with it. Here's Melly to the wing on the left. Here's Dotson. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Let's check out the Western Conference standings right now that we're here in the new year. You take a look at Kansas City. Solid start to the season so far, sitting in sixth place. And right now for Kansas City, they've fulfilled a lot of the promise they showed coming into the season. But they just haven't taken that next leap forward so many thought they might. They still had enough players take positive steps forward to call this season a success. Maybe they're not at the top of the standings where they'd hope they'd be, but they're in really good position in terms of the playoff picture. Here's McConnell following the score by Kansas City. Now the pass to McCaw. McConnell kicks to Dotson, and the officials will call the illegal screen right there. Uh, that's going to draw a whistle every time down the floor, not even close to being a legal screen. Yeah, everybody saw that one. That was pretty blatant. Their offense has been great here. Yeah, the ball movement has been terrific, and they've kept the defense off balance. Here's Silver. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. And that's just an, taking advantage of some soft defense on that drive. Little resistance for him on the way to the basket. Time called here. The fours will talk it over. Giving up a run here. Can, can they turn it around? It's hard to say right now. At this point, I've seen the coaches run through two or three iterations of defense. Is there a fourth? I'm not sure. by Jackson. McConnell passes to Purdy. To the paint. Down low. And the dunk by Purdy. And powering it home. 
He ends a 12-0 run by Kansas City. Kansas City trails by five. Passes it to Melton. Now Dudley trying his work from deep. Pittsburgh pulls it in. Now he's got six rebounds now in the game. And boy, have they been hitting the backboard in this game or what? Kind of surprising. It's such a tight game. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. Now here's Dudley. He's got five. That's good for his third bucket. Now three for six from the field. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. McConnell passes to McCaw. Here's Melly. Pass to McCaw. Six on the shot clock. Now McConnell. How good on the three. And here comes Brown. Leading the fast break. Pass to Melton. Back to Brown. The pass to Dudley. Launches it. And it's Brown missing. Pittsburgh leading by five. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. And it's McConnell with the ball. He'll bring it up for the force. At one point, they led by 16. That's in the pass to McCaw. Here's Dotson. He has 28 points for the game. And after that great first quarter from three-point range, he has finally come back to earth. That's in, and the force lead is cut to just three points on the basket from Jackson. You know, he's had better starts, obviously, but he's shaking it off here in the second. Back to McConnell. Passes to Melly. And it's Dotson, top of the key. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Dotson's got 31. And even after all those three-pointers he hit in that first quarter, it looks like the D still didn't learn its lesson as they've left him open for another one. Now, here's Brown. 16 points for him. Puts one up from 19, and that one goes long. Pittsburgh leading by six. Here's McCall. Good. And McConnell time gets out, the assist. Out. McConnell's got six assists now in the game. Two teammates connecting right there. Slick feed. And the Knights call time here. Here's Melton. Brown outside. Jackson deciding where to go with it. And here's Dudley for three. And it's Melly with the rebound. Melly's got ten rebounds here tonight. So active. Dodson can't hit. That's not going to make you a favorite target of your teammates. They'll think twice about feeding you if you're going to keep missing layups. Here's McCall. Rebounded by Kansas City. It's not his best night from the field, but looking for other ways and finding them so he can chip in. Pittsburgh leading by eight. McConnell passes to Nelly. Back to McConnell. Pass to Purdy. Six to shoot. Let's it go from 11. Good. And McConnell gets the assist. 
McConnell's got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Brown the pass to Jackson. Pass to Dudley. Shoots over Pirtle. And that time, also a missed shot. McCaw kicks to McConnell. And there's a minute 45 left in the second quarter. And that one, good. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up. Got to fight over it as a defender. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. Brown, the pass to Jackson. Dudley with it. Nice ball movement by Kansas City. And there's the pass to Jackson. Here's Melton. Kicks to Dudley. Pass to Melton. On deep. Dotson with the rebound. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. Pass to McCaw. And he lobs up the alley-oop pass. Takes the alley-oop pass and dunks it down. A oh, whole phenomenal alley-oop slam there. They are taking advantage of a team that looks lost out there. Feeling out of it. Back to Jackson. Pass to Dudley. Shoots over Pirtle. Another miss, and they've really hit a rough patch here. Here's Dotson. Can't connect from 13 feet out. And it's Pittsburgh sitting with a comfortable lead up by 14. They've had such great ball movement and shot selection, and it's led to a terrific field goal percentage. Back to the action after this word. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, everyone. That was a combination of everybody and everyone. Everyone. Did you catch that? I got it. Yeah, yeah. Ernie Johnson, Kenny the Jet Smith, Shaquille O'Neal. How about that first half, fellas? For Pittsburgh, Kenny, how'd you see it? There's been one thing that's made a difference in this game above all else. Their control of the backboard. They put forth an amazing effort on the glass, and the rebounding numbers aren't even close, Ernie. That'll be something to keep an eye on in the second half. They will be very tough to contain if that continues. And big fella, let's get your thoughts on the home team. They rely way too heavily on three-point shot in the first half. Their long-range game was off. That's my off sound. They were off. But they still settle for the outside shots. They got to put more pressure on the defense by pounding it inside and attacking the basket. And that's a wrap. With the third quarter approaching, we now send you back to Kevin and the crew. We've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. And the Knights have possession. It's a 14-point game. And Pittsburgh, looking at who they've got out there. They've got Pirtle. T.J. McConnell is out there with McCaw. And it's Dodson in at the shooting guard. They're running. Finish off the break. Dotson's got 35 in the game. Moving it around. Eight of their last ten coming off assists. Now here's Brown. He kicks it to Jackson. The pass to Melton. Dotson with the rebound. Dotson's got four rebounds in this game. Second half rolling along now. About a minute played here. Nice shot by Pirtle. Pirtle's got eight. And ten of their last 12 coming off assists. Passes it to Melton. Kicks to Brown. Pass to Dudley. Here's Melton. 
Clock at six. Now here's Brown. A three-pointer, no good. Dots in the pass to McCaw. Here's Melly. Pass to McConnell. A floater. Yep, that one goes in there. And the force lead by 20. That's the 10th straight point they've given up in the paint. Jackson passes to Brown. Here's Melton. There's the pass to Dudley. And here's Jackson. And Kansas City misses again. Not been an easy start. Three straight misses here on these possessions. Dotson gets the bucket. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. Yeah, the other team a bit concerned here. They're trailing, and the lead seems to be growing. And the Knights call time here. And Coach can't be happy, and, and I think I know why. Their defense putting up no resistance inside. No, they're not preventing them from scoring, and if you can get to a high-efficiency shot on the floor, and that's the paint, you just keep going. the third quarter just over two and a half minutes played Brown outside four on the shot clock and out of bounds as Pittsburgh gains possession forces ball and now another look at that mobile one block defensive performance determined to protect the lead with the all-out effort defensively superb anticipation on the block Here's Pittsburgh with the ball. They've got an 8-0 run. Second half of play, and we're three minutes into the third here. Passes it to Perto. Here's McCall. He's covered by Brown. McCall with the bucket. Wow, five straight buckets coming out of half. They are rolling. Brown kicks to Jackson. Back to Brown. Ice ball movement by Kansas City. Melton. Good on the bucket. Melton's got five points so far. Yes, finally one drops after the 0 of 3 start. And so it's McConnell with it. He'll bring it up for the force. They've only allowed two points so far here in the second half. Bertle, the pass to Melly. Another shot, and it's good on the way in. He has six. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Outside Jackson. Round kicks to Jackson. Pass to Dudley. Tries a three. Pittsburgh pulls it in. McCaw has got six rebounds here tonight. The team starts the second half missing four of five shots. When does the coach possibly call a timeout and reiterate what he talked about at halftime? Here's Melton. Five points in the game. Back to Jackson. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the contact. That one on Jakob Pertl. Kansas City shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. Frank Jackson. At the line for two. 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 And that one falls for Jackson. The Knights making some changes. Bates Diops checked in. And it's Damian Lee in for DeAnthony Melton. 
The Force also making some changes. Roby's checked in, and Thomas subbed in for Damian Dotson. Both free throws good from Jackson. And here is Thomas. Pass to Pirtle. Back to Thomas. Shot clock at six. Releases. And it's wide right. It's off the rim. Here's Lee. And Kansas City misses again. And so here are the force. Just four points. That's all they've given up here in the second half. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway. So a three-point play chance for him. That's his first, first. For Pittsburgh, they've been solid at the line so far. Four for four. The Knights making some changes. Silva's checked in. And it's DeAnthony Melton in for Damian Lee. Melly is checked in for Pittsburgh. Corey Joseph comes in for Carter. One shot. That's good from Thomas. And so Kansas City now. Outside Jackson. And the pass to Brown. And block. That one goes careening off the glass. In transition, here comes Pittsburgh. Traditionally, that's how you want to finish the break, right at the rim. Yeah, anything other than a layup in that situation, probably disappointing. Had numbers, took advantage. Now, here's Brown. 16 points for him. Just five to shoot. Passes it to Douglas. No good from outside. Now that's a shot right there he's going to hit nine times out of ten. We just saw the 10% he doesn't make. And the dunk by Pirtle. And really, Pirtle is a very forceful player. When he's near the rim, the D better watch out for the slam. Here's Melton. He has five. Nice ball movement by Kansas City. Here's the teardrop. And Jackson finishes inside. Jackson's got 13. Always fun to look at. Not tremendously efficient, but the floater. Boy, those sure are pretty. Right side, Thomas. McCaw, the pass to Thomas. Fires the three. He's off on that one. So it's the Knights. We'll take it the other way. Brown, the pass to Melton. Here is Dudley. From beyond the arc. Pittsburgh pulls it in. McCaw has got seven rebounds in the game. Well, his shots aren't dropping, and they haven't been able to keep pace, but they trust him enough to keep going to him, see if he can find it. Now here's Thomas. Pass to Pirtle. Back to Thomas. Some solid defense there from Jackson. Thomas gone 104 from the field. Here's Melton. Pittsburgh pulls it in. Here's McCall. He's got 10. Out of bounds. Kansas City takes possession. Kansas City ball. And here's what the Knights schedule is looking like. On Saturday, then on Thursday, they'll go up against Devin Booker and the Phoenix Suns. In that game against the Spurs, that's going to be one where it would take a lot of errors and maybe a cold shooting night for things to go wrong. They just have that much of an advantage over that team. All the way to the bucket, no resistance, just swipe the candy from him. Outside Thomas. Here's McCall. He's covered by Brown, Joseph, and again it's Pittsburgh missing. He lacks defense there. He's going to see fewer and fewer chances if he can't bury those kind of jumpers. Brown the pass to Silva. Outside Jackson. Pass to Dudley. It's good. The assist this time from Jackson. Dudley's got nine. Nice touch there near the hoop. Frank Jackson. And there's the pass to McCaw. Thomas with the ball. 
Joseph looking around. And Pirtle has it in the corner to end the cold streak. He doesn't hit that one. And Kansas City will go the other way with it. Outside Jackson. Brown against Thomas. Passes it to Dudley. They get it back. Here's Silva. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Clearly a foul. Kansas City shooting their seventh and eighth free throw attempts for the game right here. For Kansas City, Chris Silva taking two shots. And the first one drops. He's off on the second. Two minutes left. And here's Aminu. He brings it up for Pittsburgh. Nader the pass to Joseph. Let's a floater go. There's a minute 47 left in the third. Pass to Silva. Here's Melton. Pass to Pasechniks. Here's a Coro. Second shot opportunity and the basket by Pasechniks. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. Now here's Allen. The pass to Nader. To stop the trout and good that time. Here's Melton. He's got seven. Passes to Okoro. Nader grabs the board. Allen left side. Outside, Joseph. Pass to Nader. Allen surveying the D. Clock at four. Pass to Joseph. Here's Cardinal. And the layup's good off the glass. Cardinal's got his first basket. And Matador defense. That's one of the easiest shots he is ever going to see. Yeah, feels like Christmas right now, just gift wrapping points. Inside. Unloads. Got a hand on it. The three quarters of play all in the books, and this one all but over already. Horse out in front, running away with it. And do not go away as we'll be back in just a few moments with the start of our fourth quarter coming up next. Now let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter form. Well, there's a way to break down the defense with the handle, but you can do it with the pass. Prime example of that right there. And one quarter to go in a game that to this point has not been an evenly fought contest. We've got Lee. Karuch is out there with Pesechniks, and it's Akpala in at the two-guard spot. Allen, left side. Rebounded by Kansas City. Karooch passes to Birch. The shot's good. Now that's the kind of passing right there that makes a difference. Not just in that possession, but maybe on your play for the entire game. Now here is Carter. Now the pass to Allen. Knocks down the three ball. Allen's got himself going there, his first points of the game on the deep ball. Now that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. And the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. Here's Karuch. Nader grabs the board. To the inside. The shot's good from Carter. Now catching the lead pass at full speed, terrific anticipation and the delivery on time on target now here's lee 
And we've made our way through just over a minute and a half in this fourth quarter. Nice ball movement by Kansas City. Tries from 10. Rob. Here's Nader. Carter down low. Pass to Cardinal. Over Lee. No good from Cardinal. Pass to Karouche. Lays it up off the glass. Now that play never gets old. The pick and roll will still be an offensive staple a hundred years from now. Trust me. For those just joining us, fourth quarter here. We're just over two and a half minutes into it. And Aminu kicks to Allen. Takes the three. Unable to get that one. And Kansas City will go the other way with it. Not great numbers, but great effort in this one. Sounds funny, but I think he's been a positive for them. Lee passes to Karuch. Here's Birch. Shoots from the elbow. Pazeknik's no good. Well, if you believe in the numbers, that mid-range shot is not a high-value shot, even with little or no defense on you. Here's Akpoa, defended by Allen. Pass to Karuch. Here's Akpoa. There's the pass to Karuch. Shoots. And that one hits back iron. Probably not the shot that was drawn up for that possession, but you can't pass it up, and you can't knock it down. Over to the left wing. Aminu with the bounce pass. Carter against Lee. Down low, Akpala from down in the low post. It goes. Akpala's got his first points of the game. This can make it so much easier for your teammate when you throw that lead pass that gets to him right on the money, whether that's on the run or in the shooting pocket. Now a timeout called by Pittsburgh. And as things present themselves throughout a game, teams have to adapt on the fly. And timeouts are a wonderful opportunity to just settle in and recollect the thoughts of your entire team. Not just the guys playing, but the entire team. Now Carter. Allen outside. And again, it's Pittsburgh missing. Been a struggle for him tonight, but if they can make this lead hold up, he can just chalk this up as one of those nights. Now here's Lee. Here's Karuch to the paint. Just four to shoot. Count the basket. Birch has got four this quarter. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now especially on the interior. Carter with it. He dishes at Cardinal. It's Allen on the wing. The shot from the low post is good. When a player gets a feel for that floater, it can really make things tough on defenders. You're just not sure how to guard them and where your point of commitment is. Here's Karuch. Passes it to Mikhailu. Here's Birch. Back to Lee. Bates Diop, the pass to Karuch. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. He's been off the mark, and that hasn't helped them chip away at the lead. It's been a theme here this quarter. Here's Mikhailu. 
pass to Birch. Over Carter. Birch's shot's good. Just no resistance on the inside. That's their fifth consecutive make in the paint. Allen outside. Back to Aminu. Pass to Allen. Shoots the three. Sinks the three-pointer. Defensively, you can't afford to give him that kind of look, especially down this many points. Teachable moment there. Lapses like this are backbreakers. Here's Karuch. Roby with the rebound. He just doesn't look like himself this quarter. Something's missing. Well, he's missing, and it's starting to affect a little bit in his body language, and you just don't want to see that. Back to Allen. Let's it go from deep, and again, it's Pittsburgh with a three. Well, he doesn't look satisfied with the lead right now. He wants more, and he looks like he's going to get it. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Karuch passes to Bates Dion. Back to Kuroks. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Well, if he's going to keep shooting, they've got to run some plays for him. Screens, pick and rolls, anything they can do to get him started. Pittsburgh working the ball around. Floats one. Here's Roby. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Giannis, That's his first personal foul. At the line for Pittsburgh. Isaiah Roby taking two shots. Shooting two. No good on that one. Pasechnik's checked in for Kansas City. He hits the second from the line. The Knights on offense. And Kansas City misses again. That's one he knows he should have drained. And a beautiful feed leads to a monster jam. Leaping ability is off the charts. Not the biggest power forward, but outstanding at rising up off the ground. The pass to Karouche. To stop the run. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. That's his second personal foul. Shooting for your Knights. Rodians, Karouche. Two shots. Two, two. First free throw is good. So Pittsburgh going with almost an entire new group here. Cardinals checked in. Aminu comes in for Patrick McCall. Grayson Allen's checked in for Damian Dotson. And it's Carter in for TJ McConnell. And good on the second, so he makes them both. And so it's Carter who brings the ball up for Pittsburgh. Passes it to Aminu. Back to Carter. Six on the shot clock, and he banks in the layup. Carter's got four points this quarter. Now, there's some easy offense there. Keep finding looks in that area, and their shooting percentages tonight are going to be off the charts. Here's Bates Diop. Pass to Pasechnitz. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. No question, he got bumped on that shot. Shooting for your Knights. At the line for two. 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 The first one falls.
And so he makes both from the line. And so here are the force. Allen outside. Allen's gone only four of 11 from the field. Here's Karuch. Pittsburgh pulls it in. Aminu's got four rebounds in this game. Pass to Carter. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. That's a jump ball. And so here are the force. Allen kicks to Carter. Just five on the clock. Here's the floater. And the layup is good. Allen's got 13 points now in the quarter. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up. Got to fight over it as a defender. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. LaForce with the ball. They're on a 15-6 run. And so it's going to end up in the record books as a blowout, a dominating performance for the force. This was a team performing to its uh, fullest capability. Uh, a, a hugely satisfying win, a, a, a game that not many will soon forget. And on the other side, one that I think most will try to forget. And they took charge when it counted, and they'll be notching their ninth win overall. And with the win approaching, they'll take the first game here of two that they'll play against this team. Nice to get that first one out of the way and set the tone. Now here's Lee. Back to Kuruks. Here's Bates Diop. Buries the long-range jumper. And they can just dribble the ball until the buzzer. Yeah, they got to be happy with the outcome. Now here's Allen. So it's Pittsburgh picking up the win. This one was over well before the final buzzer. The fans were waiting for something to get excited about, Greg, but they never got it. They sure didn't. I mean, they just rolled to this win. They made it look really easy. What an efficient performance at both ends. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Brett Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan along with our 2K Sports crew. We'll see you next time.